Hi guys, this is Anna from Anna and Ivy and today we will create an animated digital Christmas card you can send to your family or friends or you can simply post it on social media or wherever you want. So for this um, card I will use our another animated Christmas story collection which, which contains animated elements as well as vector and clip art elements. And if you never used any of our animated products before, if you want to use the animated elements, you need to have a, a Photoshop version that, that's newer than 2018 or 2018 version. So we will start with this measurement as always. So this is the measurement for Instagram stories or your phone screen. If you flip it, you will get um, the YouTube video size in this case if you want to create maybe an intro for your YouTube videos or whatever you want to. So we will stay with the Instagram um, story size create. Here we go. And the panels we need is the layer panel, the adjustment panel and the properties panel because when we use the adjustment panel um, it jumps over to the properties and we will make some adjustments over there. If you can't find any of these panels you will find all the panels in here in the window and yeah let's start. So I want to create some kind of a night sky with um, houses in the front and some text because this is a card I could send for example to my mom or my dad or whoever. <laughs> so um, let's start with the background. We will leave the uh, timeline closed for now. Um, I will tell you later why. So we will start with the background. I will use the night sky background. Rotate it. Holding shift. You can rotate it proportionally. Here we go. And now I will use the single element and go for the sketchy style elements because they are looking more handmade. But you can choose the one you want. So it's alphabetically. So I will use this small house, the pink one. Smaller, but tiny bit smaller, and the green blue one over here. <coughs> and set the pink one to the top because it has a small thing here, so it looks more dimensional. So, the next thing I want to do, I want to change the color of the wall or the house color a bit so I will use my adjustment panel and select hue saturation and now I will create a clipping mask by holding out on the keyboard and then the small arrow appears and now my hue saturation adjustment layer is connected and only affects this house um, clip art or animation. So since I only want to change the color of the wall, I will use um, this color picker here, the small tiny hand, and I will click on the color I want to change. So now the adjustment layer selects the range of the colors, which means that if I change the color, for example, the saturation, it also affects everything that's also inside of this color range. So since we have like this blue colored windows here at the moment, it also affects the windows, but we can adjust the range of colors we want to change. And you can see it down here. And I simply move the small um, tiny dot a bit to the left to exclude the dark blue section. 
So as you can see, when you look at this um, section here, when I move this back and forth, I can adjust the se uh, selected color range. So I move it to the left. So I excluded the blue, dark blue parts, but still included the greenish blue parts. So we will simply use the hue um, slider here and I will make it like more bluish and a bit more saturation in here and a bit darker. Or like, no, I will stay with zero. So now we change the color of the house wall and the next thing we want to add is for example something like a banner so i will go in here and look what we have inside this banner thing on this one i will use this one so i will drag and drop it into my uh, document and position it where i want to have it at this point you recognize you don't see anything because the band roll or the spanner um, starts with an empty layer because it builds up as you can see so at the very beginning there's nothing you can see but we will adjust this later so keep in mind it's here but you can't see it at the moment so then we want to use maybe a shape something like this here we go the same situation as with the banner or band roll you won't see anything at the beginning but we will change it in a minute so we will now go to our window timeline section and click on create video timeline don't click on create frame animation here we go. The reason why I open it now is because when you add more elements into it and move with the small error around, you will always um, mess the elements a bit up and it's easier to make it like without a timeline at the beginning and then later go into the timeline. It's just a more organization kind of thing. So as we move this to the right, can see now our band row as well as our shape is in here so I think maybe this band row yeah I think we will do it so I will move the shape behind the houses to make it more like dimensional and I will change the color so I go to the FX um, icon over here color overlay and I will, I think I will use like some kind of beige tone maybe. So it's so hard to decide. Oh, dark blue tone. So you can see the text a bit better. Hmm. Oh, a yellow tone. So we can say this is the new one. Yeah, this is a nice idea. So we will make it like this. It looks like it's the moon, maybe. And I will color this banderole or this uh, banner in a more festive kind of color. So maybe a pink tone, which is not festive at all, but <laughs> you know what I mean. A red, something like this. Yeah, I will leave it with that. Here we go. So what I want to do now is I want to add some text in here. So we'll go to this point where I just see everything and I will make my whole clip a bit shorter so I will leave it at 50 seconds which is enough in my opinion for this animation. 
So the next step I'm going to do is I will add some text. We will create a, a path. I'll simply click on P or use the small icon here and paint or create a path on the bottom of this um, banner to have this shape or this 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 wave and somehow we done so now move to text click on this text icon and when you move over this uh, path you can see the text um, icon changes a bit which means we can write on top of this so dear ma again so as you can see our text is not really visible so to move this around or change the beginning and the end of um, the text hold command on your keyboard and move it to the right and as you can see I already did a mistake and here we go just move it a bit up now we will write more the Christmas wishes This is like personalized, you have the name of the person over here, you can use this several times if you have a lot of friends or family you want to uh, send this card. It's personalized but it's also digital, so here we go. Now the next step um, I want to make is I will adjust the text section in here because my arrow was over here when I started to write and I want my text to start at the very beginning but as you can see the cool thing is when you use the background color in your text when the text is on the background itself it looks like it's not there so this is the cool thing but you can also of course um, blend it in so let's uh, blend this text in here in open the small section over here select your layer of the text change the opacity to zero and make a small keyframe over here then we will move this to the right make another keyframe if you want the text to still be invisible and now we move it a little bit more to the right change the opacity to 100 and as soon as you make a change the keyframe will appear automatically so if we start this clip from the very beginning we will see it blends in so that's basically it you can create as many cards as you want or you can duplicate this card several times and always change the name of the person you want to send it and yeah that's it now go to file export and render video as always choose your folder just make sure you save your psd file because if you want to make adjustments or if you want to change the name and send some more out um, it's always good to have this saved so you don't need to redo this each and every time so the second card we are going to create is more kind of a snowy one so we go to compositions and check out the landscapes the ready made landscapes we have in here and use this snowy kind of thing 
with the mountains in the background. Maybe slip down here. And we will change the background by using one of the pre-made backgrounds, the blue one. Rotate it, adjust the size, and here we go. So you can of course also change um, the color a bit. Again with hue saturation, command um, alt and the clipping mask in here and change this section to a different color. So now I want to add a small tiny house in here. Now it's in the background, so I want to put it on top. And maybe some trees. situation here as before you won't see it at the very beginning because it builds up. I will put like two or three in this and maybe some snowflakes over here. And I will change the color of the snowflake because it's not really visible on this blue background. I use color overlay and make it white. And the same here, color overlay and white. Here we go. So I will add my text. Into it, I will drag this behind the landscape so it covers with the, the D and the snowflakes are above or on top of the text. Now we will go to timeline, create video timeline, and as you can see. We see the pines in here and the text has to be adjusted um, to the length of your video clip. So I will make it like 50 seconds long again. And we go change the color if you want to of the pine trees. Kind of color. Here we go, and it's basically it. Now, again, go to File, Export, Render Video, and save the video clip. So, these are our two cards. I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial, and I wish you a uh, very very merry christmas and um, relaxed and healthy days during this holiday season and we will see each other or hear each other in the new year bye